Hi there once again and welcome to another Expresso Mechanic tutorial and in this one we're going to be looking at building this. Now this is part of a ploughing mechanism actually and it was something I saw on YouTube uh, about modern agricultural machinery actually uh, and I saw this thing and I thought well that's quite an interesting motion and it, uh, it might be quite interesting to build one of those and just see how this actually works. So that's what we're about today and without further ado let's have a go at it and see what we can come up with. OK, so we're starting a new window and I've exploded some of the parts here so that you can see what's going on. Now, the first thing to start with is the crankshaft, as we did. If you've seen the piston tutorial, um, that that's it's a similar sort of setup that we've got here. If we just open this crankshaft, so we've got it grouped into a null object over here. So that's the center point of it. And then I've got a subdivision surface, a shaft and a couple of targets. Now, all I did to build the actual crankshaft I created three cylinders, all of equal size, and then a couple of cylinders that were slightly smaller. And then moving on from here, I made them all editable, grouped them together, and then did up in the mesh here, I went into conversion and came down to connect objects and delete. So that's how I made those into one object. And then to fill the gaps between them, I simply selected the faces on the ends of each of the parts and then used the bridge tool to create the in-betweens. So that's how that was done. And then there was a bit of you know, cutting with the knife tool and loop cuts and things like that. And then a little bit of scaling and moving of points around just to get the, the shape of that. I mean, you don't even need to do that really, but it was just something I did for artistic reasons. But that's how I made the crankshaft. And then, as I say, you've got a couple of targets. So there's one here, if we just look at this one, and you can see if we go into the M view, you can see that it's in the actual center of this outer arm as it would have been with the piston. It's exactly the same setup. OK, so there's two of those, obviously one for the other plough as well. So there's just one in uh, in here as well. Exactly the same thing. So that's the way you set that up. And once that's done, you can move on to thinking about how you're going to make the rest of this thing work. Now, the key to it actually is setting up two IK tags and they do the bulk of the work for you. Um, but you must get the setup obviously correct. So what we've got is a fixed shaft down here. OK, and the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to set this plough up, this this plough nearest to us. I'll set this one up and then it will be just a case of rinse and repeat for the other one. But we'll set this one up. What we'll do, um, we'll, I'll just make that hour disappear. We'll firstly get a null object and we'll call this plough one. And what I'm going to do is drop it into my fixed shaft and then zero it out. OK, just as a starting point, if I go into my front view and I move 50 along the X axis, it's in the right place. So that's the first port of call. Get plow one set up. We'll remove it from there. Let's put it down here. And then we can start thinking about grouping things in. Now, the first thing that we need to group is going to be the elbows. And um, we've got left and right elbows here, which are obviously going to be treated as a single object. So what you do is just drop those in together at the same level. Now, if you look at them, you can see that their axes are actually in the middle of them. And that's fine. It doesn't matter. The IK won't care about that. So you can leave those two the way they are because you've got plow as the end. That's the, that's effectively the root of the, the IK. So it doesn't matter about where the elbows axes are. They can be anywhere. OK, and they'll still work. So that's worth mentioning. The next thing we've got is a little joint here. We You can see I've got uh, it's it's just again another a standard cylinder. There's no, nothing clever about it. Uh, I just made it. Three, it's just three centimeters in uh, in radius and 20 in height. So it's just a basic cylinder. I think I probably did put a fillet on it or I actually I haven't even done that, but you can put, just put a fillet on it, probably make it say, I don't know, 0.2, something like that, just to give it a bit of roundness. And that's fine. That's as much as you really need to do there. So again, you can eyeball this. It's going into the, if we just have a look at where it is, it's obviously going in through the hole that's in the elbow there. So you can just eyeball it if you want. It's not a problem and just make a few tweaks to it if you need to afterwards. Once the IK is set up, it's absolutely fine. So that's the next thing to do is to drop the joint at the same level. As the 
elbows okay so the three of them at the same level and that's fine and then moving on from here I've, as I say I've exploded it so I've got the arm here and that just needs to be placed in the same position as the target in the crankshaft there so if you just again you can just eyeball this through or if you wish to as we've got the uh, the arm at the same position as the target all you need to do is drop that into the crank target one and then adjust from there just so that it matches up perfectly and then you can take it out again and drop it back where it was and then this needs to be dropped into the joint and the trowel can be dropped at the same level as the arm so that's the setup of course if we run the timeline now nothing will happen as there's still a bit more work to do because we've got to get the rest of it set up we do need a little bit of espresso as well but for now what we'll do we'll get the IK tag on it and we'll set that up first so let's come down to rigging tags get an IK and what we've got to do the end is plow one so that's our null for plow one that's the end of it and then the goal is something that we have to add uh, in a mo so we're just going to add that in actual fact I've done that wrong uh, let's just reverse that plow one is not that at all it's actually the arm that's the end beg your pardon there so we'll put the arm in there and then we just need to add a goal so the goal has been added so we've got arm one goal and you can see that we've got the IK handle is there now if we move this you can see that it's working perfectly well so that's fine the IK is working beautifully and it was as simple as that to set up you don't need to do anything else just drop your arm in there create the goal and then you're sorted you don't need to worry about anything else in the IK in order to get this to work I'm going to just create another null call it espresso and in here grab an espresso tag and then all I need to do is get crank T1 just bring that in go into coordinates global position global position that's all I need and I also need to bring in the goal so arm one goal bring that one in and it's exactly the same setup so I can just drag that onto there go into coordinates global position global position okay and all things being well that really is as much as we need to do and it should work and it does perfect and then as I said I mentioned it's just literally if you want to do the second one it's just rinse and repeat so grab a hold of another null object call it plow two drop it into the fixed shaft zero it out and then this if we go into our front view we can say minus 50 and it will be in the correct place as I've set this up I mean obviously you may do it differently and that's fine if you want to use different sizes feel free but just follow the same rules so plow 2 is in place I'll bring all these back in so that we can see them and then all I need to do drop my elbows in put my joint in at the same level the arm isn't in the correct place at the moment but what we're going to do is sort that out in the minute so what we'll do we can just drop that into there drop the trowel in so everything is set up and then come up to plow two get another IK tag drag the arm into the end there add a goal and we're set up and then in the espresso we simply need to grab in crank two again coordinates global position grab the arm goal in same deal again and it should snap into position 
and it does and we're set up um, and that's all we need to do and it works fine so it's a very very nice little setup that one no complicated mathematics because the the ik tags doing all of that clever calculation for you uh, it's just a little bit of espresso just to take the uh, the position the global position of the crank targets and give those to the end goals of the the arms and that's all you need to do and it works beautifully now to turn this actually let's take it a step further we'll turn it into an actual plow mechanism that would be the quite a fun thing to do so if we get a cloner and we drop this down here what we can do I'm gonna as we've got global positions I'm just gonna group everything and we're gonna call this plow so we've got everything grouped and now we should be able to just grab a hold of that and move it anywhere and it should work the only thing I need to do is possibly move my fixed shaft if I just drop my fixed shaft in there now I've got everything in there and I can move it wherever I like and it will work great so that's fine all I then need to do is drop that into my cloner we'll set it up we don't want it as a grid array so we'll just do it as a linear we don't want anything in the position Y obviously we've lost the colors that's not a problem though because we could just texture this afterwards but we won't worry about that today um, and I know that I can say 232 on the X and it will match up perfectly well perhaps a little bit less let's go 231 or even 230 230 is probably yeah 230 is what it should be actually um, okay so that's actually working quite nicely now if we run this it'll probably be a bit slow so what we can do instead of using instance instances we'll use multi instances and that should speed us up a little bit and it does I mean my machine's a bit old now and it is a bit slow we've still got these couple of lines in there I mean, what we could do is simply drop uh, if we wanted that out of there we should take that out of out of the, the cloner for a mo. If we drop the cloner into the plow, into the plow, and then zero it out, we'll be fine. It should all match up perfectly well. Take that out of there and then drop that back in. And now it's all looking great. And then if we want to tidy things up a bit more, we can go into the display tab here and uncheck handle line on the IK tags and then everything is clear and we've got a clean model now and it all works beautifully of course you can have as many of these plow objects in the cloner as you wish and you can add some some sort of support struts here and there just to make the thing appear stronger um, and then you've, you've literally created an entire plow mechanism there and it wasn't very difficult to do so uh, that pretty much brings us to the end of this tutorial. As always, I hope you've enjoyed this one. And if you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to the channel. It always helps to get a few more subscribers. And uh, I'll see you very, very soon on the next tutorial. Thanks a lot. Bye now.